Good morning, bienvenue, welcome to A Day in the Life with violinist Christina Bowie. Thank you so much to the Montreal Chamber Music Festival for having me be part of this awesome series. Let's go check out what my day is going to look like. So every morning before anything else, I head straight to the kitchen so that I can make some coffee. It's become my morning ritual ever since I founded the Ulysses Quartet five years ago. Um, I found that I always needed extra fuel to get through the four hour rehearsals that we were doing. Um, and it's just stuck with me ever since. And now it's just nice to have something to wake up to during the pandemic. Um, so my one of my favorite coffee beans is the Tanzanian pea berry and um, I like to grind my beans fresh every morning um, it's just adds a whole other dimension of freshness so let's get going to the coffee time for my first sip of coffee for the day mmm delicious when I have breakfast, sometimes I like to catch up on recent news, or I like to call my family who are in Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island right now, or as some of you know it, PEI. So that's where I got to grow up as a kid. And now I live in New York City and I've been living there for the past 11 years. As I previously mentioned, I'm a member of the Ulysses Quartet and we are in residence at the Juilliard School. Since the pandemic hit, I've been living in upstate New York with my husband, Michael, and our two awesome friends, Seth and Kim. I'm gonna show you today how uh, my life has been since the end of March and how it has evolved over the summer. So you'll get to see a typical day of what I do and also some special things that have happened in between. Time to get ready for the day. Ta-da! This is the part of the day that I absolutely love, just, you know, mid to late morning, um, when it's just peaceful and you feel like you have the whole day ahead of you. So every two to three days, um, I like to do this walk. And right now we're on the highest point of the town that I'm staying in. And we are gonna be going down the hill all the way, about 40 minutes walk, and then on the way back up some steep hill climbs and it's about 45 minutes on the way back up since you know hills equals longer time to climb am i right so let's go for a walk So that was the easy part, unfortunately, but we do have a beautiful view here. So that's a nice reward, a halfway point reward. Um, woo, let's go climb some hills. Made it 
right back. This is our little house right now. So I think I worked up an appetite. So I'm gonna go make some lunch. Let's go. So I just had a delicious lunch and now it's time to warm up and start my practice for the day. This violin to my right is a gorgeous Stradivarius from the year 1728 on loan from the Juilliard School. And this violin right here to my left is an 1820 Presenda on generous loan from the Canada Council. practice session and I'm gonna go spend some more time outside before the sunset kicks in. You can catch me in the swimming pool. It's past five o'clock here, time for relaxing and with my wine in tow, it seems like the perfect opportunity to tell you about a new project that I have been working on called Wine Wednesdays. It's a series about wine um, where I choose a wine of the week and I pair it with a classical music piece for you to enjoy. So it's been a lot of fun filming those. And my husband, Michael Sinecropi, has been amazing doing all of the videography, editing, audio, you name it. So I'm super lucky to have my own engineer in house. Besides Wine Wednesdays, I've also been giving many live stream concerts with my friend Seth Gross Handler, who plays piano, and of course, my husband, Michael, on trumpet and doing all of the behind the scenes video slash audio work. And it's been a really great way to stay connected to fans and people that just need music in their lives right now. I think the internet is such a strong tool during these really hard times. I think if we didn't have, um, you know, social media or use of giving concerts online, I think this time would be so much darker. While giving live stream concerts and recording my own projects has been super rewarding, I do miss seeing my quartet and rehearsing and performing with them. But we did, however, have a super unique opportunity to play together this past summer. And we gave a live concert online for the Nomberg Orchestral Concert Series. And we also had the chance to collaborate with violinist Lara St. John and pianist Marc-Andre Hamlin, two of Canada's top artists, so that was a great honor for me.
tonight for dinner, um, I'm making kalbi, which is um, marinated short ribs in the Korean cuisine. Um, and I have to be honest that I definitely was not into cooking before the pandemic started, but I've gotten really into learning how to cook different things and especially Korean food since I'm half Korean and it's in my heritage. <laughs> I wish you guys could smell this and eat it with me. We just had dinner and the sun is setting behind me, which means one of two things. Either I'll have a practice session again or I'll watch Netflix and get lazy. Well, we've had a lot of fun today, these are really difficult times for everybody and I especially feel for all of my artists right now. Um, it's been extremely difficult not being able to give live performances or have a live art show or you know anything like that so it's very important to support artists right now in any way you can and some ways to do that that are completely free are subscribing to our social media accounts including YouTube Instagram and our Facebook pages and you can sign up for our mailing lists so I would like to show you how to sign up for my YouTube page. It's super easy. You go to www.youtube.com slash Christina Bowie and you just staccato that subscribe button. And I would love it if you would also go to my website www.christinabowie.com and sign up for my mailing list which is right on the front page of my website. This way we can stay in touch and you can know all the projects that I will be working on this year. It has been really disappointing that I didn't get to perform at the Montreal Chamber Festival this past summer. Um, I've had the opportunity to perform there three times already. I feel like a regular now and I'm so thankful to the festival for hosting me um, throughout my really formative years as an artist. And I've had such a great pleasure getting to know the audience. And of course, collaborating with my friend, Dennis Brat. And I would like to ask you all to please stay safe and be kind to one another and wear a mask. Thanks for spending my day with me. And I hope to perform for you live soon. Till next time.